Hello, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. Though it is a pretty big topic, I could ramble on forever with this. Does forgiveness imply that we have free will here on earth and in the afterlife as well? And I say it does. It does very strongly so. From a Christian perspective and a perspective of just, uh, just being a human, just a human being born of this earth. Um, from a Christian perspective, think about it. If we didn't have free will, then Jesus would never have needed to go to the cross for us. Because how can you sin when it really you don't have free will? It wasn't your choice. It was all just written into the script. You know, like a cartoon or something written in. It's going to play out the way it does. There's no free will. Uh, if that's the case, then Jesus Christ didn't need to go to the cross. Um, and if that's the case, if there's no free will, and those of us that profess to love the Lord and God, how much value does that have if we're just kind of made, you know, forced to? We don't have a choice whether I want to love God or try to follow the Christian path, you know. Um, I don't think God, God, you know, being the perfect that he is, you know, beyond my comprehension, at least here and now, I don't think he would force us to love him. I don't think he would ever force us to ask forgiveness. I don't think he would ever force us to accept Jesus Christ as his son and our savior. He wouldn't force us. What type of love would that be? God's not a puppet master, you know, where he makes us do what he wants us to do. Uh, our love wouldn't be worth much if we're being forced to love him like, you know, we're genetically programmed to love him. Like I hate to say, like my dog seems to be, you know, like, we can't help it. It's just the way we're programmed. People are rebellious, you know. We're, we're not like the animals. We're really not like the rest of the animals. We're different. And I think I made that case my point. I don't claim to be the authority on anything. It's just me talking, right, with the camera and whoever is listening. I don't think that's the case, uh, that we're like the animals uh, programmed to behave instinctively just that because we we're different uh, and if we choose to ask for forgiveness and we feel that we've sinned and we ask for forgiveness that implies free will um, in a number of ways if you think about it and on a human level just uh, you can take spirituality out of it you know I feel like I've, if I feel like I've done something wrong to somebody it's placed upon my conscience. I got to make a choice. You know, I made a choice to do something wrong. Now do I got to make a choice. Am I going to own up to it? Am I going to seek this person out and ask their forgiveness? And the other hand is that are the person, are they going to feel obligated or obliged to forgive me? There's choices that have to be made on a human level. And on a spiritual level, even implies even more so that we are individual beings, you know, part of the kingdom of God, but we're individual and we have free will. And uh, just like some of the angels chose to rebel, you know, and uh, God could have stopped and he could, I'm pretty sure he could make us do anything we want. We're his creation, but he does, I don't think, I might be wrong, I don't claim to know the mind of God. I don't. I'm just, this is just discussion. These are just my thoughts. All right? There's many different ways to look at this. I don't think God would force us to love him. I don't think God would force us to ask for forgiveness and to accept Jesus Christ. We're not forced to do that. And even in some societies where people are forced to accept a certain religious creed or face death, maybe not Christian, Islam, other things, uh, do they really accept it when you're being forced? You know, let's just take Islam. Somebody forces you. You accept Islam or we're going to behead you. You know, okay, you know, if you're going to put it that way. Is that, how sincere is that? 
it, how sincere, you know, really. It's God, God isn't forcing us to do anything or there would be no need for forgiveness. Um, so I would say I could talk and talk and talk about this topic, but I don't want to because I just think it's just my thoughts anyway. And I came up with a long list of these topics to talk about. And this was number 16, and right now I'm on number 38 on my list of things to discuss. And I just arbitrarily, like, threw a dart, you know, kind of mentally and just picked 16 and uh, looked it up and saw it was about, does forgiveness imply um, free will? Because I think it does very much so. Um, so it's, on a spiritual level, it does. And on our natural level, it does. But what is natural level? Well, I suppose as animals, but I think animals have spirits too. So what is really natural? Just the time we're here on this earth, in this flesh. But I think we're spiritual beings while we're in this flesh. So, and here's another thing that occurred to me. Something else. Not associated with forgiveness, but spiritual things. Um, scientists like uh, psychologists are trying to figure out how memory works, you know, trying to figure out the brain's workings and wirings. And, uh, you know, I have read these and hear these indie near-death stories, NDE, where people die and they've spent some time on the other side and they come back. And it's very strongly supported. But they remember quite vividly after they were dead. They've been dead on the table for minutes, maybe hours, right? Clinically dead and somehow they came back to life, they remember that time. They remember things on the other side the, where they went. That kind of implies that memory is not so much a biological function, but a spiritual function, you know? Just a thought. But this video is forgiveness. Does it imply free will? I say yes, very much so. On a spiritual level between man and God, or we wouldn't need Jesus would not have had to gone to the cross. If we don't have free will, how can there be sin? I was written, I was programmed to do the things I did. So I don't need forgiveness. But if I say I need forgiveness and I accept Jesus Christ, accepting Jesus Christ implies that you know you're a sinner. Jesus have mercy on me, I'm a sinner. You know you're a sinner at some level and you reach out to Jesus Christ you know, to be saved, a free gift, that implies that, that you have knowledge that you have sinned and that you need forgiveness. You need, and that implies free will, very much so. And on a human-to-human -human, uh, basis, just whatever. It, it does imply forgiveness, whatever level you look at it. And I think I don't need to say any more about that on this video because if you ever have some time just think about it does forgiveness imply that we have free will on a spiritual level and other now on this channel you know I debated whether to make these forgiveness videos um, forgiveness is a topic that I've been struggling with for a while and you know I'm trying to be as honest as I possibly can with myself on things and so I do some soul searching prayerfully, ask the light of God to shine upon me, any dark areas in me, so that I can see them and address them and, you know, try to apply the example of Jesus Christ to forgive completely. And Christ said we had to be like children, you know, childlike to go into the kingdom of heaven. I think maybe that implies childlike, like innocent, there's no malice in you, no hate in you like a little child that hasn't been hurt yet by this world. Hurt enough to get a bad attitude, you know. Some kids have to be hurt quite a bit before it darkens them a little bit. And, you know, different people can weather. But childlike, you know, and I think that means to be cleansed of any anger we have in us. And I, it's not, I don't think it's wrong to be angry with somebody that's wronged you. It's human. But, you know, we strive, we strive to forgive those just as, you know, we ask to be forgiven. 
And I think that very much implies free will across the board. In this life and in the eternal life, that God does not force us to love him. God does not force us to ask forgiveness. Or it would be shallow. It would be, I'm forced to ask forgiveness. It wouldn't count for much, would it? And somebody put a gun to my head and said, say you're sorry. I'm sorry. How valid is that as opposed to me coming to the person, a human, and saying, you know, I'm sorry, or going to God and saying, I'm sorry, on my own choice. All right, I went on about it some more anyway. Um, ghost videos. I, this stuff still happens to me. In fact, at the end of this video, I'm going to put a clip. I made, the first video I made was Forgiveness and the Lord's Prayer. I remade that video three times, taking the third take. The first time, I cropped the top of my head off with, the, you know, in the film. The second time, I made it with the same lighting you see right here. And it came out for some reason. I don't know. It's the same camera, same camera settings, same lighting. And it came out too dark to use. But the second time when I was making it, you don't see the spirit, but you're going to see my reaction. Uh, because I'm right now looking at a camera at the other side of the table about four and a half feet away from me. And behind that is the floor and the wall and a window and my driveway and such. And my kitchen's that way. Well, as I was making the video talking about forgiveness and the Lord's Prayer, quite clearly a black figure uh, strolled right across in front of me, crossed in front of me, and went on into my kitchen. And you could see my reaction to that. Um, it startled me. But I went on with my video. I kind of shook it off, and I went on with the video. But quite clearly... Uh, a human size, human shape, black figure strolled right across and went into the uh, kitchen and vanished. And I don't even like talking about it, honestly. But I might tell some more ghost videos. Um, I'd like to tell some more of the mirac miracle videos. Like the first 16 videos were really, I look back at those, they were wonderful. They were uplifting just for me to remember those things when God directly intervened in my life in different ways. And right now, I'm going through a long, dark, lonely valley on life. Uh, been going through it for a couple of years now. And uh, I just accept that's where God wants me. I can't really think of anything I've done to put myself there. It's just the way life has turned out. And it, that's life, isn't it? You know, you don't know what what's the next chapter holds, you know, until the book is over here and we move on to go home, right? But right now I'm going through a dark valley, and somebody said these videos are self-absorbed. Um, yeah, they are, sure. I'm talking to a camera about my thoughts, my experiences, and it's not a two-way conversation except in the, in the comments. But I do not claim to be an authority on these topics. These are just my thoughts on them that I share, you know, to keep myself company. Plus, and I like, I feel led to do this. I feel strongly that I'm being led to make these videos. And if this forgiveness videos aren't your thing, if it doesn't speak to you, then yeah, it's fine. Don't watch it, you know, but I'm going to make them anyway. And um, someday I might get around to telling the story of the Berlin Angel and the Hexen, the witches. Uh, that's a very personal story to me. I've got another uh, probably five video series I want to make called Why Do Ghosts Wear Clothes? Where do they get them? But right now I'm going to do what I feel God has put upon my heart, and that's to make these videos about forgiveness. So this is, I think, the fifth, fourth or fifth one. Forgiveness, does it imply free will. I say yes. All right, that's it. What follows is a 40-second clip where you get to see my reaction to uh, seeing a, a black figure cross the, in front of me and go into my kitchen. Sooty black, like black smoke, but human shape. 
You know, I got some ghost, uh, God, I had some pictures when I went to England. I took inside uh, Winchester Cathedral in the 90s that were full of ghostly images. And I don't have them. You know, you put them on a computer 20 years ago and the computer crashes and you lose everything. And I couldn't find the negatives. But that was full of them. I had a 35 millimeter camera. And uh, quite a few. But... Alright, so you can see my reaction to seeing a spirit in the upcoming video. And I want to say that I went on and finished making the video. I did not let that stop me from talking about my thoughts on forgiveness and the Lord's Prayer. I'm not going to let that impede my work, prayerful work. So, alright, here it is. Till next time, Rome. You know, we're made perfect through the grace of Jesus Christ, the grace in our Lord. I just saw something. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I just saw a dark shadow move through here. Uh, give me chills, I'm sorry. We're made perfect through Jesus Christ and the grace of the Lord. And um, 